Hello, my name is Jason Wilkinson, and the next video you're going to see is really interesting. But to understand why it's interesting, you have to understand a little bit about robotics, and that's why I am here. So I took a class on robotics back in college about seven or eight years ago, and I forgot almost all of it. So I had to go back and read up a little bit. But what I read about made the video a little bit more interesting. So to start off with, we need a little bit of vocabulary. And I'm going to use my arm to compare the, uh, to, compare to the robot because that's probably the easiest way to understand it. The robot that you're going to see in the video has about maybe three or four different links to it and joints on it. And joints are kind of like our arms. So if we assume the end of the robot or the tip is called an end effector, that could be my hand. So if I pu pull out my hand, I can, you can see that as my, my hand has a certain position in space and this is the location of the end effector on a robot. And calculating that location is done through a variety of means. You can, if you wanted to, if you had a bunch of joint values, if I, my arm is shaped like this, I can figure out the joint values of, of my elbow and my wrist and other places and figure out the location of my hand in space. But if I wanted to make my hand go to a certain place in space without, without with knowing the end position but not the, the intermediate positions, I would actually have to back calculate the position in space and then then back calculate each of these joints and that's how a computer needs to tell a robot where to go so in order to do that you need something called inverse kinematics inverse kinematics takes the position in space that you want to go that desired position and back calculates each of the joint values now this is a fairly complicated process but you can see our brain does it fairly easy if I want to keep my hand in the same in the same spot in, or on the same plane my each of my joints needs to calculate the location of that spot. But uh, for a computer to do that, you need a whole lot of math. Now, the next video you're going to see actually shows a robot that they've done all the calculations and actually draws something on a chalkboard. And that's why it's cool. And uh, I guess here's the, here's the video. Kick it. 